Right, now we move on to solving equations which have fractions. Say we asked to solve a little monster like this one. It's got fractions on both sides. Well, the first step we are going to take here is to get rid of the fractions because really none of us like working with fractions. So we're going to try and get rid of the fractions. How do we do that? Well, we look at what all the denominators are that we have around and we're going to find the lowest common multiple of those denominators. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 6. Hopefully you can very quickly and easily see your multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. Your multiples of 6 are 6. Well, you've already got your lowest common multiple of 6. Now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply both sides of the equation by this lowest common multiple because that way you're going to get rid of all the fractions. But remember, the rule is what you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side of the equation. So you're multiplying this left hand side by 6 and you're multiplying the whole right hand side by 6, not just the fact fraction. So let's do it. Let's do this multiplication. And really, as you do this multiplication, do cancel down because otherwise your multiplications are going to get really big. So here we are. We're going to be multiplying x over 3 multiplied by 6 over 1, right? And this 3 will cancel into this 6, leaving you with 2 here and 1 at the bottom. And that is going to be 2x over 1, which is just 2x. Now this side is interesting, right? We're multiplying the whole side by 6. So 6 has to multiply with this, and it has to multiply with this, your distributive law. So 6 must multiply with 2. That's easy. 6 times 2 is 12. Here, when we multiply 5x over 6 with 6, the 6 will cancel with that 6, and we'll just be left with 5x. Now that we've got rid of our fractions, we've got a very simple, sweet, normal equation. So we want to get all the x's on the left and all the numbers on the other side. So we want to get this 5x away from here. So we are going to add 5x onto this side. So then we must add it onto that side and we will get 7x is equal to 12 and then to get x by itself we divide both sides by 7 and we're done. Okay, if I'm asked to solve this, my process for solving when I have fractions is to identify the denominators and then to find the lowest common multiple of those denominators. So I just go and I write out my multiples of 3 and I write out my multiples of 5, and pretty quickly I discover that 15 is the lowest common multiple. Now, what I do to the left-hand side of the equation, I must do to the right. So I have to multiply the whole left-hand side of the equation by 15, and the whole right-hand side of the equation by 15. Remember, it's this whole side that's being multiplied by 15. So the 15 has to multiply with this, and it has to multiply with that. And I'm actually going to write it out fully, just because otherwise I can get myself very confused here. All right, 3 times 15 is very easy. That is 45. Now, when I multiply here by 15, I can see that I can, the 3 cancels with the 15, leaving me with a 5. And here, the 5 cancels with the 15, leaving me with 3. So what I'll get is 5x plus 6x equals 45. And so 11x is equal to 45. So x is equal to 45. 
over 11.